We are rolling. Okay, this is the second part of the video. Right after we finished up marking everything, deepest part of the vestibule and my wax relief on both sides, now we're gonna actually make the wax relief. <clears throat> For the wax relief, we'll need a soft wax, um, calibrated soft wax, which is this one here. You guys can all also also a uh, miss miss um, com get confused with the hard with the hard one. But if you see the difference, this one is a little bit more pink. This one is a little bit more pale. And the this soft one is more translucent. The soft, you know, we can see through it better. See. Right. Yeah. And also the soft bends, mm -hmm. and this one breaks okay so we do not use this one we'll, we'll, we'll make, be using we'll make wax rims out of the hard right this one we'll use it for wax rims and this one use we use it for wax reliefs okay what i want to do is i want to soften this wax all over here just by placing it on my on the flame okay remember guys if this flame is yellow or ye or um yeah, it's not. It's, it has more gas than 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 air. These will. What's the name again? Well, the soot. The it soot will get, get in the sucked. wax, and it makes it look gray. Right. So, what I'm doing is I'm just softening it up a little bit. Okay. Don't be afraid of it, but don't put your hands in here because you'll get, you'll get. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna go around. Oh, the periphery area. Then, once I get it everywhere, I'll use my knife and pretty much cut it everywhere. Right now, it doesn't have to be a clean cut. Right now, what I need to do is only get rid of this part here okay and remember guys if this gets hard again you can always go again and put it on the flame so you can put it exactly where you want okay once you went all the way down like this you can almost see through where your mark, where the red mark is, okay? So what I want you guys to do is I want you to strike or mark that part. And now I want you to cut the wax all around that part right there, okay? If the wax is soft, it will be easier, easier for you guys to do it. You can heat that knife up a little bit. Too. You can heat up the knife. You can. If you heat up the knife, it'll make the cut so much simpler. Okay. Can you see how now I have an even line where I have been cutting the wax? What happened if you if you're a little too short there? It's okay. You will be fine. Like I say, this is this as long as you know what you're doing and what you're doing it for. Uh, that's that's much. That's that's what I. That's what we want. Again, now I'm gonna 
I'm gonna strike right here where my hard palate is. I want to leave the soft palate or the posterior palate relieved from this wax, okay? Because it's a little bit more transparent, you can you can tell or you can see where is it going. What else am I missing? Tissue stops. Thank you. So remember, we we got four little squares right here. Okay, one, two. Three. And I know for now as, as as for now you have no idea what you're doing. It's okay. You will see how it will make sense after we finish all this. It will make sense. And probably when you're listening to this, you already saw the the, the, the lecture we had. <coughs> so this is basically what we have on the wax relief on the upper. Let's go now with the lower. And again, we'll take the other half. You can even, instead of getting the whole, you can get just half of the plate. Warm it up. Once you warm it up. Start putting it or adapting it on the ridge, right? Make sure you get it all the way to the deepest part of the vestibule so it adapts very well. We will take it up from there, take it out from there but I want you to have it nice and adapted, okay? Then, once I have it like this, again, I heat up my knife, and what do I do? I start following my red line, okay? In this case, remember, we're gonna, we will alleviate these buckle shelves that will act as my tissue stops in the posterior, okay? Then I keep going here. Take your time. You have the whole lab session to make your impression tricks. Although you want to pick up speed because later on you're going to do a practical where you yes. have to do both custom trays, record bases and wax frames, which you'll be learning about later. Yes, you're right. Good call. If I'm missing a big chunk, like in this part here, you can always patch it up a little bit with, with your wax instruments. Heat it up a little bit. Put it there and cut the rest. And then you get your hot knife and incorporate it right there. Okay? You can always do that and it's okay. Okay? You see how I'm following that red line, following the frenums, leaving a little bit space for the frenums. Okay, I go in the back. I'm just gonna go like this first. What am I missing now? Do I have to take this off or not? Certainly. Certainly. You want an impression That's of the tongue? <laughs> we need, remember we have the tongue right there, right? So we need to get rid of that part. Some past. So in, in another classes they, they were leaving that as your wax relief, but there is there is no point for that. 
that's not an anatomical feature. So this is what we'll find. We'll find pretty much the wax is following that red line we draw, right? Which is away from the deepest part of the vestibule. Right, guys? What am I missing? Tissue stuff. There we go. Tissue stuff. Peanut gallery. <laughs> Tissue stuff. So now, thank you to the residents here, I was forgetting my tissue stops. Remember those tissue stops there there we have to find in my patient's mouth what's the rigid the most rigid part to place them, okay? Right now, because we don't have a patient, this is just practice. We're just gonna place them right here, okay? But sometimes they can be a little bit farther down. Most of the time this anterior portion it's a little bit more flabby so we don't have it to, we don't want to put it in the flabby tissues it's around the canine area all so. right mm -hmm. good yes so basically let me just clean up a little bit here but this is what we have in summary we have the wax relief following the red line we previously draw okay short the key is short to the deepest part of the vestibule right around four or five millimeters okay same thing here in the upper we're going past the retromolar pads we're using our buccal shelves as tissue spot as, as our posterior tissue stops and we're using the anterior tissue stops right there and basically my wax relief is also following what we previously draw everywhere now with the buckle shelves we do not cover them with wax but we are going to cover them with the tray material exactly but there will not be any relief there therefore it's a tissue stop okay so we'll see you next video salute